one and all and welcome back to another exciting episode of Unbox My Geek where we unbox geeky stuff and today it is the turn of the Wizarding Trunk. Uh, box slightly damaged as I removed the uh, label although so basically because I'm there's been a bit of a hiatus and I haven't done them for very long I actually have four of them ready to go and the last three have been sent in plastic bags so that the labels are on the plastic bags. Not great for the environment but much better for the box. <laughs> So um, you have to kind of weigh up, which is uh, more important. So as I said, I do have four of them and I'm not entirely sure what the themes are. So I know one of them is the ministry, which I think ugh, is not the one I'm doing today, but it's this one. Um, and then I'm not sure there's two others. I'm not sure what they are. But this is the one that I've chosen, which I think is the oldest one that I had, um, because these have less designed boxes. Um, I could just be making that up. They do design the boxes, so it would be like really uber helpful if um, they put the name of what it is on it. Um, so I think this is the potions one. We do like the potions and wizarding chunks, so hopefully they'll be good. I'm pretty sure this is the potions one. Um, I'll have to look up the others. So as I said, I think that that purpley one is the um, uh, ministry, and then I think there's a professor's one and. It did say there was an All Hallows Eve one, but I'm not sure if I've done that one yet. So anyway, so uh, the Wizarding Trunk is an American-based company, um, Harry Potter stuff, um, hence Wizarding Trunk. Um, they do some very cool stuff. They're not particularly cheap. They range from between sort of 80 and 95 pounds. They have two different ones, a bi-monthly and a quarterly. So, and then they're different prices, but they're pretty much the same for us here. Um, also depends on the exchange rate at the time. So here you get like 15 items, something like that. Uh, they're all themed. Um, check out my other videos because they're all really, really cool. Um, and seems to be the most stable. There's lots of the other ones that we've uh, were, um, subscribed to disappeared. So that's the whole thing about the losing trunk. Um, uh, for everything that I take out of the box, I have a rating system. And that is the Holy Grail, which is an awesome item. I love it. Up the sale, which is a cool item, not for me, includes gifting, and then um, absolute fail. <laughs> absolute fail, which is a terrible item, and just a no. Uh, we've never had an absolute fail from a wizarding trunk. So here it is. So these are blind unboxings. I don't know what's in it, and you don't know what's in it, but you might know what's in it because it's quite old. And if you watch a lot of wizarding trunk videos, people opening them. You may know so but i don't know what's in it because i haven't been watching youtube videos whilst i've been in my a so um yeah it's all exciting for me and the potions i do like so let's see how we get on so the top item feels like a t-shirt oh god it's got those that packing stuff in if you if you've watched any of my previous videos especially ones at the beginning uh, you'll know how annoying these little stringy things are. That being said, they're so much better than polystyrene. So, but the t-shirt's the first thing out, and it's going to be covered in them. Just trying to. Oh, I like the t-shirt. I like the colour of the t-shirt. Let me say, I like the colour, greeny t-shirt, like a khaki. Cool. So it says Potions Club on the front, and Potions Club on the back. So when I did. I'm just trying to think of the order in which these are going to be released. So you probably will have already seen the Weasley box had um, a T-shirt similar to this. And I said it reminds me of those staff T-shirts, oh, that. which I think is probably where the idea for these box, these T-shirts have come from. But obviously they don't say staff on them, um, but that doesn't bother me. I like this. I, I would love to be part of the Potions Club. Um, so I'm going to wear that with pride and i do like the color this greeny color is very cool and it is covered in pieces of um not pieces of eight unfortunately pieces of cardboard so yeah so that's another look at the uh the design i, I do like the the khaki style of it it's very cool so that is a holy grail most of the stuff that comes out of the wisdom chunk is holy grail so i could probably just not say that Got a couple of boxes, got so many of those cardboard things. So many. Let's go for this one. I'm guessing there's going to be a lot of potions. They do, you do normally get a potion, but for a potions box, I'm guessing there might be quite a lot of potions. Oh, there's a couple of things in here. So sometimes they do use 
um, in the boxes, they put something else to kind of like stop it getting broken, which is always a good idea. Well, there's three things in here. So number one is this like Hessian sack. Feels very weird. What is that? What is that? <laughs> okay. This may be three things that are part of one thing. So inside is um, is a load of stones that you would find on the zibich. Um, and some, um, there's one of the stones, um, seaweed, algae, no, more like seaweed. Um, so that's what's in the Hessian sack. Sometimes also we might have to get to the end to know what I have to do with all this stuff. So I do love this stuff. I do love it. So we have a vial of green stuff. Oh, it has, I don't know if you've, oh, you can see. I don't know if you're meant to be shaking this, we're meant to be shaking this up. Not your, we, I'm soaking up. Not sure if I'm meant to be shaking it up or not. Oh, go on, focus, focus. Oh. So I'm not quite sure what that's for, but so far we have stones, some green stuff and some other green stuff. Oh, it's make your own potion. How cool is that? So we have a, a, a vial, do we call that a vial? Bottle, a glass bottle. And the Gilly Tonic label. Focus, you can do it, focus. It's not going to do it. There we go. Um, which one presumes you stick this on. I mean, I could do it, but I just think it's going to end really badly. You stick that on. You put the the things in. All right. Okay. This is not going to end well. This is really not going to end well. That's, it's ending so, I'm like magic. I've got the bag open over the open thing and it's like magic, they won't go in. Oh God, they're gonna go everywhere. You know when I said this was a bad idea and they're gonna go everywhere? And I feel like this would have been easier just to pull them into my hand. So that's where we're going with that now. This just heightens the fun of this. Oh my gosh, they're still going everywhere. I'm sorry you can't see. You still won't be able to see, but at least she gives you something to look at other than me. My gosh. I can't leave them in the bag. You know, I can't lose one or two because otherwise the potion will be wrong. Right. We got everything out of that. It's empty. Right. Now I'm guessing we have to somehow. This is going to be two bits. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Oh, maybe I should have put that in first and used the stones to. Wow. Wow. How can I do it wrong? Am I doing it wrong? Right. I think putting the stones in afterwards is going to end up being a bad idea. Because I don't think I'm going to go through. Just talk amongst yourselves. Right, that's one. Of course, that's never going to go in there now. Because... This was a bad idea. Bad, bad, bad idea. Okay, let's do it. Let's do it, we're doing it. We're doing it. Practical, practical things like this are difficult to, 
See, now I just feel like they're stuffed in there, but it you get the idea. Right, stones. <laughs> this is like my idea of a nightmare, because I feel like there's a right way to do it and a wrong way to do it. And it's my bit of a perfectionist. I really want to get it right. And maybe sometimes you just have to let go and say it might not be right, but that definitely is not right. <laughs> because... The stones are nowhere near the bottom. Okay, we're getting there. We are getting there. Do you know, probably there's some instructions somewhere in this box that says, put these in first, then put these in, then put these in. I'm confident, though, that these should look like they're in the stones, but they don't really because... I'm going to like cut all of this out and just be like, oh, and this is this is what I made earlier. There we go. Something like that. <laughs> I'm coming back to that later. I appreciate that the stuff needs to go in it, but we're coming back to that later. Because I'm boring myself. Right. There is so much. When I say so much, like so much so much I'm just taking out more of the the stuffing I mean most of the box is stuffing which is very unusual for the listing chunk right there's something Warwick's brass scales premium potioner equipment so this is cool I feel like I'm going to be all set up to Mission by potions. My drugs, you know. <laughs> that was a joke. That was a joke. Um, I can just see this video getting... God, that's some thick cardboard, man. Um, getting taken down because I said the word drugs and it was in jest. Okay, I feel like there's a lot of putting things together. Um, so there's some brass bits. Uh, the little table thing a brass thing and a brass thing um i'm not going to even attempt to put that together because um if it was to go as badly as that let's move on it's some brass scales oh i feel a pin badge we're, we're on safe ground with a pin badge nice living death the brew of living death kind of smaller than some of the ones we've had before although it's still too pinned holy grail love a pin the others are holy grails as well maybe not the scales i don't know what i'd do with the scales they might be enough for sale I can feel lots of bits, lots of bits. This feels like another pin badge. It is another pin badge. It's the main man. It's Snape. I'm really liking these um, portrait badges that we have. It would be cool to make like a little montage of them. Although I don't think we have any gone good. Aren't they all bad? I think we had Slytherin, Salads are Slytherin, um, the Malfoys, Snape. I have to go through my um, boxes to see which ones we've got. The Bone Riggan. Bone Riggan? Any ideas? Feels like polystyrene. Bone Regan. Bone Regan? It's not. <laughs> Bone Regen. So in the in the film it's obviously called um Skelligrow. And this is their take on it. It's the Bone Regen. And I'm liking that. 
that's the holy grail because if you also recall i do like my halloween stuff that's the holy grail Reagan. Reagan. that's embarrassing moving on there's another big box here let's go for the big box oh that didn't sound healthy it's just a plain cardboard box for this one. Oh my gosh, literally swimming in these things. They're literally everywhere. Um, right. Oh, that looks ominous. Looks like it's going to be a lantern of some sort. I always forget when I have it down there that you can't actually see it. So it's something to do with holding. Oh my god, that's come off. Ah. So any good potion master is going to need um, a cauldron. That's the word I'm after. Cauldron. Now I'm guessing this is, correct me if I'm wrong, because I'm not a fave of them, but I know they're very popular at the moment, wax melts. And what I'm going to say is you put a tea light here, and then you put a wax melt in there and then your room smells lovely. Am I right or am I wrong? Let me know. Um, that is probably an up for sale because I shall tell you for why. Um, I'm not a huge candle Maxwell, Maxwell, Max wax melt fan. And also I'm really not keen on having um, flames in the house. So that's probably an up for sale. That's not to say I don't like it. It just is, or well, it could be a gifting actually. I might know someone who might like that. Um, just not, just not for me. That's that's it. And now I'm covered in polystyrene as well. Deep joy, deep joy. What's this? Little packet, little packet, little packet. Two little packets. One little packet. And as if by magic, it's the tea light for said. Thing. Whether there'll be any wax melts in there as well, I don't know. But that's the tea light holder. Oh. Only the purest of potions. Black lacewing flies by Pure Blood Apothecary. The Pure Blood Apothecary are normally the company that do their... Um, they do like cosmetic stuff, but it's done like potions or whatever, lotions and potions. How does one get into this? You may notice the video's been cut, that might be because I have to, um, how do you get into this? What I'm trying to do is very carefully prise the box open because it's super duper tight. And obviously I can feel, and you can probably hear there's things inside I don't want to get covered in whatever it is. Ah, got it. They are <laughs> flies. I mean, I don't know what to tell you apart from they're flies. They are black lacewing flies. Lovely. Nice. Probably enough for sale there. Probably enough for sale. Um, I think we're hitting the bottom of the barrel now. Some calming draft alchemy of the skin you might always wonder why when I do this why am I poking my head around and that is because I am trying to see whether it's focusing on the screen yeah, I mean, that's cool. I don't know what that is. It's not doing a lot for me. Um, so that is also probably up. So this is mm, not 
there's a couple of good things in this box, but it's not my favourite box that we've had. And I get the theme is potion, so it is very potion heavy. This feels like it's all come out, which it has. So I'm just going to pop that in there. Lovely. Um, what is this? It is orange blossom squeezable max wax. Why do I keep saying max? Wax melt. So obviously that goes in that. Um, it's all over my hands now. It does smell nice. So yeah, I was right. So you put the wax melt stuff in there, and then that's. Oh, and we're almost there. We have a key. Oh, <laughs> all I can smell is orange now. It is the potions store key. Even I can work that out. It's got a P and an S on it. I don't know if you can see that. Very cool. And that's a holy grail because I have the keys. That is one of the smaller keys I've seen there. I don't know if this is their cheaper quarterly box or I don't know. Oh my gosh, wow, you can really see where that has leaked through the box. It's only wax, so it's fine. Right. What do we have? We have that's our cheat sheet. So we have a potions picture, which is quite cool. Very dark and gloomy. And then we have one of the pages from the A to Z of Creatures. Now I'm wondering, I don't think you normally get them in the hourly boxes. I think you only get them in the security vault boxes, which is the more expensive ones. But I do think they said that they hadn't come in in time for the previous box. So they were sending that out. I could be making that up. Might not be. <laughs> um, but anyway, it is... I think I'm making that up because this actually seems like it would go in this box because it's the Wolfsbane potion. So I think I'm making that up. So just ignore me. Just ignore me. And then we have here preparations of Gilly Tonic. Remember our tonic that we were trying to make? When brewed properly, the tonic, so you have to brew it properly. You've got to put all the ingredients in. This tonic will allow you to breathe underwater for a limited amount of time. Um, stones collected from the body of water you intend to swim in. Two pieces of magical water plant. Water collected from the body of water you intend to swim in. Swim in. Ten mils infusion of wormwood and one gram of silver. Place the stones in your bottle. Arrange your magical water plant in the bottle so it runs the entire length from top to bottom. Fill your bottle with water. If you're unable to obtain it from the body of water you intend to swim in, you can use crystal imbued water or tap water. It's probably going to be tap water. Being in London, don't want the Thames water. Um, note, the length of time you'll be able to breathe underwater will be shortened. Combine your silver with infusion of wormwood. Ah, for um, ease, these ingredients were combined for you and are included in the same vial, which I presume is uh, this one. Shake the infusion of wormwood and the silver vigorously exactly 23 times. If shaken even one extra time, you must allow the mixture to set for approximately one to two hours and repeat the process. Then pour the mixture into your bottle. Cork your bottle and add the label. Give your bottle a shake to ensure the infusion of wormwood and silver are incorporated in your liquid has a green tint. So let's move to the cheat sheet. Welcome to potions class students. The Gilly Tonic recipe for the potion you'll be making today is on the back of this card. Let's get class started and brew greatness. So we had, I'm going to do that last. The Colgen Wax Warmer, designed to make your room smell just like your potion you're brewing, TWT exclusive. Um, the Armadillo Bar Wax Melts, a few drops of this squeezable wax melt onto your new wax warmer will fill your room with the amazing scent of arm, armadillo bile or orange blossom. Um, created for us by Inflammer Candles, label designed by Wizardry Workshop, TWT exclusive. Um, portrait Pin. Snape. Um, this portrait hangs in the dungeon and oversees your potion classes. TWT exclusive. Potion storeroom key. This key allows you access to the potion master's private storeroom. It would be quite cool, I suppose, on your wall to have this and then this next to it. You don't have to do that. That's just you might want to. Uh, potions glass print. Um, is that upside down? That's no, right. 
a view from your Destry and Potions class created by Queen Mab TWT exclusive. Wolfsbane recipe page. Okay, so this one was meant to be in there. A page torn right out of perfect potions. Oh, God. Are they starting a perfect potions one now? Of the A to Z magical creatures. And now I'm going to have to collect these. <sighs> ah! Um, black lacewing flies. A staple of your potion kit or shelf. Box designed by Wizardry Workshop, filled by Pure Blood Apothecary. Bone regen potion. Not making that mistake again. I dare say one drop would kill us all. No, that's the wrong. I was going to say that's not right. This healing potion mends and strengthens broken bones. It can also regrow vanished bones entirely. TWT exclusive. That is probably my favourite item from the from from the box. Um, living death pin. That's the thing that says, I dare say one drop would kill us all, designed by JP Miscroy. The Gilly Tonic DIY kit. It's time to brew your Gilly Tonic to breathe underwater. We can't wait to see your bottles that you make. Decorate them however you like and tag us with TWP, TWT Potions Glass on Instagram. Label designed by Wizardry Workshop, kit prepared by Pure Blood Apothecary, TWT exclusive. This liquid should not be consumed. That's in bold. Um, vintage brass scale. So I'm going to hold up a, a piece of that. Scales from Warwick's potion supplies are a necessity when weighing um, potion ingredients. Box design by just says by wizardry. Um, calming draft. Oh, it's a bath potion. This mixture by Alchemy for the Skin contains pink, pink Himalayan salt, hibiscus, lavender, sea salt, rose petals, and calendula flowers makes a calming bath and looks great on any potion shelf label designed by wizardry workshop twt exclusive so then it says the next bi-monthly theme is all hallows eve have i done the all hallows eve one very confused very confused i can't imagine that i wouldn't have done the um halloween one but there is one a box that i've got here with a black cat on it so that may well be um all hallows eve uh hmm okay so it was all right it was okay oh i forgot the t-shirt the t-shirt which says this super soft shirt is only available for members of the potions club um yeah i mean some of the stuff i really like this bone regen thing being one of them uh some of the stuff mm -hmm, uh yeah mm, uh not one of my favorite boxes but that being said uh, the stuff is cool. I wouldn't say anything was an absolute fail because it has all been fun um, to do. Uh, it's unfortunate that that leaked. Um, but um, yeah, just more for sale than would normally be for sale, if that makes sense. Um, so that's it. Don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe and hit that all important notification bell so you don't miss another one of my videos. Until next time, take care and I'll see you later. Bye.